this little quick release adapter thing is like hands down the best accessory that I could ever get for my gimbal. This is the Ulanzi Claw quick release adapter. So this on top right here, the plate portion of the quick release adapter, I just dropped it, is a quarter inch screw. It has a little flat head on the bottom and then you have this little flap thing that you can um, tighten by hand. And then on the base plate, the bottom of it is also a quarter inch screw that you can mount onto the monopod. And it also doesn't matter which side that you put the plate into, it'll always go in. Put it on this side, always go in. This side, it will always go in, which is really handy, really nice. And then to mount it on the monopod, you just screw it on. And then what you'll do to mount it onto the gimbal is take the plate off and then put it into the quarter inch mount. Just tighten it by hand using that little hand tool. And then all you need to do is just pop it on. And that's it. It's that easy. So how it works is there's a little quick release on both sides. This one's black, this one's red and you push both of them at the same time, and then you can pop this guy off. What's cool about this is that it's got a little locking uh, mechanism where if you don't want people messing with your quick release, uh, you can literally just push it and lock it. And now if you try to unlock it, it's not coming off. And that's a little cool security feature that is built right into it. So when you first get your gimbal, doesn't matter uh, which brand it's from, DJI, Ziyun, or some other brand, all that really comes in the box with the gimbal is just this little tripod feet. Like I don't even use the tripod feet for <laughs> the gimbal anymore. And it goes like this and you can set it down on like a tabletop or you can put it on the floor. And for me, it's, uh, I mean, yeah, it's whatever, man. On wedding days, during the ceremony, I'm down the aisle, I'm at the front of the altar. After the bride comes down, she's coming down the aisle, they get to the groom. After that, I would just run, literally, I run all the way around to the back of the ceremony space. I'll grab my monopod because I've set it down on the floor somewhere behind there. I'll pick it up and I'll get to right in between where the chairs are for the audience. And I literally have to just put this on to the monopod and it clips on just like that and I'm ready to shoot. For us, when we shoot, we don't we don't really need to get any sort of like moving wide shots of the ceremony space. Uh, so I like to just set my camera down onto a steady surface. Uh, in this case, something like a monopod works really well because I can set it down. I don't have to constantly be holding the gimbal uh, 24 seven in this position because it will get tiring after 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, even 15 minutes, uh, it starts to get a little bit tiring. So a monopod is a just a very quick version of a tripod. It's not as stable. You can see there's some play in there. Like this is all the way tight already, but there's still a little wiggle room. So any sort of like movement, if I bump it, if someone bumps it, it there's a huge chance that it will just simply tip over. So that's why I never leave this thing alone standing up like this. I always am next to it. Uh, operating it or just have one hand on it. And if I'm not there, I'll set it completely down so that it's not actually raised up high like this. I'll actually just set it down onto the floor like this, right? I don't need to worry about it, especially if I put it onto uh, into a corner of the room. No one's, nothing's gonna happen to the camera. I just wanna show you guys the difference between using the little feet thing. So normally, right, this is how it would look. You would just literally put it down like this, right? You would have to physically squat down and then grab it and then bring it back up. A mirrorless camera is fine because um, it's light. But if you have a heavier camera, like maybe the FX6, right? Um, then putting it down, squatting down like this is not the most fun, especially if you have to do it multiple times throughout the day. Probably not fun. But if you've got the monopod set up, right? If I put it down, I literally just need to move this chair. Here we go. Boom, boom. Easy, bro. It's easy. Some of the other advantages of a monopod over a tripod is that for the most part, monopods are much lighter. They weigh a lot less because you only have one leg of the tripod and then you have the little feet on the bottom and they're a little bit more portable. They don't take up as much space, right? Like a tripod needs three legs, so it takes up a lot of space usually. For your workflow, for whatever workflow that you're doing, you could probably switch it out to a tripod. Maybe I could get a lightweight tripod and then replace it with the, the monopod and that could work as well. Maybe that works uh, for something that you're shooting. All right, that's it for this video. Um, it was a quick one. Uh, I really wanted to show off this little quick release adapter. Uh, it's been a game changer, honestly, for the things that I shoot, weddings and running gun events. 
uh, and stuff like that. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and then make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. And until the next one, my name is Alex and I'll see you later, bye.